Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 32. After these things, and the establishment thereof, Kancheriv, king of Asher, came, and entered into Yahuda, and encamped against the fenced cities, and thought to win them for himself. And when Yahiz Kiyahu saw that King Cher Eve was come, and that he was purposed to fight against Yahushalayim, he took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop at the waters of the fountains which were without the city, and they did help him. So there was gathered much people together who stopped at all the fountains and at the brook that ran through the midst of the land, saying, Why should the kings of Ashur come and find much water? Also he strengthened himself and built up at all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and another wall without and repaired at Milo in the city of David and made spears and shields in abundance. And he set captains of war over the people and gathered them together to him in the street of the gate of the city and spoke comfortably to them, saying, Be strong and courageous, be not afraid, nor dismayed for the king of Ash-shur, nor for all the multitude that is with him, for there be more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is Yahuwah Eloheinu to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda. After this did Kang Cherv, king of Ashur, send his servants to Yerushalayim. But he himself laid siege against Lachish and all his power with him unto Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, and unto all Yahuda that were at Yerushalayim, saying, Thus says Ken Kers, rather, Ken Cheriv, king of Asher, whereon do ye trust that ye abide in the siege in Yerushalayim? Does not Yahiz Kiyahu persuade you to give over yourselves to die by famine and by thirst, saying, Yahuwah Eloheinu shall deliver us out of the hand of the king of Asher? Has not the same Yahiz Kiyahu taken away at his high places and his eth altars and commanded Yahuda and Yerushalayim, saying, Ye shall worship before one altar and burn incense upon it. Know ye not what I and my fathers have done unto all the people of other lands, where the Elohim of the nations of those lands any ways able to deliver, rather, were the Elohim of the nations of those lands any ways able to deliver at their lands out of my hand? Who was there among all the Elohim of those nations that my fathers utterly destroyed that could deliver at his people out of my hand that your Elohim should be able to deliver you out of my hand? Now, therefore, let not Yahiz Kiyahu deceive you, nor persuade you on this manner, neither yet believe him, for no Eloah of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of my hand and out of the hand of my fathers. How much less shall your Elohim deliver you out of my hand? And his servants spoke yet more against Yahuwah Elohim and against his servant, Yahiz Kiyahu. He wrote also Sepharim to rail on Yahuwah Elohim of Yashar'el and to speak against him, saying, As the Elohim of the nations of other lands have not delivered their people out of my hand, so shall not the Elohim of Yahiz Kiyahu deliver his people out of my hand. Then they cried with a loud voice in the Yahudith's speech unto the people of Yerushalayim, 
that were on the wall, to frighten them and to trouble them, that they might take Eth the city. And they spoke against the Elohim of Yahushalayim, as against the Elohim of the people of the earth, which were the work of the hands of man. And for this cause, Yahiz Kiyahu, the king, and the prophet Yashiyahu, the son of Emotz, prayed and cried to heaven. And Yahuwah sent an angel, which cut off all the mighty men of valor, and the leaders and captains in the camp of the king of Ashshur. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was come into the house of his Elohim, they that came forth of his own generation slew him there with the sword. Thus Yahuwah saved at Yahiz Kiyahu, and at the inhabitants of Yerushalayim from the hand of Kancheriv, the king of Ashur, and from the hand of all other, and guided them on every side. And many brought gifts unto Yahuwah, to Yerushalayim, and presents to Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahudah, so that he was magnified in the sight of all nations from thenceforth. In those days Yahiz Kiyahu was sick to death, rather was sick to the death, and prayed unto El Yahuwah, and he spoke unto him, and he gave him a sign. But Yahiz Kiyahu rendered not again, according to the benefit done unto him, for his heart was lifted up, Therefore there was wrath upon him, and upon Yahudah, and Yerushalayim. Notwithstanding, Yahiz Kiyahu humbled himself for the pride of his heart, both he and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, so that the wrath of Yahuwah came not upon them in the days of Yahiz Kiyahu. And Yahiz Kiyahu had exceeding much riches and honor, and he made himself treasuries for silver and for gold, and for precious stones, and for spices, and for shields, and for all manner of pleasant jewels. Storehouses also for the increase of grain, and wine, and oil, and stalls for all manner of beasts, and coats for flocks. Moreover, he provided him cities, and possessions of flocks, and herds in abundance. For Elohim had given him substance very much, this same Yahiz Kiyahu also stopped at the upper water course of Gichan and brought it straight down to the west side of the city of David. And Yahiz Kiyahu prospered in all his works. Howbeit, in the business of the ambassadors of the princes of Babel, who sent unto him to inquire of the wonder that was done in the land, Elohim left him to try him, that he might know all that was in his heart. Now the rest of the acts of Yahiz Kiyahu and his goodness, behold, they are written in the vision of Yeshayahu, the prophet, the son of Emotz, and in the sefer of the kings of Yahuda and Yashadael. And Yahiz Kiyahu slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the chiefest of the sepulchres of the sons of David, and all Yahudah, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, did him honor at his death. And Mahanasheh, rather, Manasheh, his son, reigned in his stead.